What is up guys, Bravo Teen here, and this is a FIFA 13 skill games. Little, I'm going to be showing each of the skill games here, so as you can see, we are currently playing one of my favourites, which I believe is the shooting challenge, which is really fun to do. As you can tell, there is boxes in front there, and there's a target in the back. So all you have to do is you have to run in towards this area here, and I think you have to press L, LB and X, I believe, or L, LB and B. It's really fun to do. I didn't manage to hit the target, but I did manage to get the ball into the net, so I did manage to gain some points there. It's a bit random, like, when games... I've had about three games, and so far I've only had this once. I've had many others, but basically I've just been going into games and uh, backing out just to do the skill games, because there's so much fun to do. So as you can tell, we are on 400 points. So let's cross it in, guys. Right, so, yet again, I think you have... A total of 10 attempts maybe more maybe less i'm not too sure so as you can tell we are running to the end of this skill game so on to the next game which is the crossing challenge so basically you have to run into this area here and then you have to cross it and then try and hit on one of them two stool targets it's quite a fun game this um the harder you hit it obviously the further it goes but for some strange reason i was only able to hit the closest one and then eventually i managed to hit the ones a bit further away which was pretty weird so let's have a look so I'm on 1,093 points. I've got three attempts left, and I believe this, the um, the green means you've beaten a record, or you've beaten the high score, or you've beaten the appropriate score you need to get, or something like that. Right. So moving on to the next one, which is the free kick challenge. This was this was an alright one to be honest. Um, it was quite good to help me practice on free kicks. I'm not one of the greatest at free kicks. So as you can tell, all you've got to do is you've just got to hit the targets. So the ball is just placed randomly in different directions, and you can choose the way you want. So you can finesse shot it, you can shoot from quite far away, um, you can do whatever you want. You can X to try and chip, uh, you can pass it down the line, you can shoot. It's really fun. Um, obviously, I did try different skill games with different teams to see if there was a difference. And to be honest, I couldn't really tell because I'm sure it picks the player at random because I was playing. As Jaya Torre on one, and then I was playing as Nazri on another, and Rabinho on another skill game. So it's pretty weird. And this game is pretty simple. All it was is you've just got to pass the ball to the player highlighted in the yellow. Eventually, I did do it, but I didn't understand what to do at first, as I really didn't want to read the instructions because I really can't be bothered. So as you can tell, I'm playing as Carlos Tevez, and we're just passing it down there. So we're on a, a thousand score, and we need. We've got six attempts left, so it's really hard for some unknown reason. It's sometimes it kept passing it to the player. I didn't know how to direct it. It said to use the analog stick, but obviously I did manage to get it sometimes, and I tried to chip it there, but it didn't seem to work. So let's have a look. Question in there. I'm really looking forward to seeing if there's any more skill games on the actual FIFA 13 game itself, which will be released on the 21st, I believe, for Xbox users. So I'm really looking forward to that. If you've got the season ticket only, that is. So, as you can tell, this is my favourite skill game out of them all. It is absolutely fun. It's so fun to do, and it's really enjoyable. Um, it's not really boring, to be honest. I must have spent this just this skill game but for about 20 minutes. All you've got to do is you've just got to chip the ball, or you can shoot, and you've got to try and get it into one of them bins. If it bounces and goes into the bin, you get a really high score. But if it just if it like rolls on the floor and just stays there, you get around 250 points to 500. On the current, on the uh, demo, it doesn't show like friendly leaderboards or other leaderboards. But I'm guessing as soon as the game comes out like properly, I'm guessing that you will be able to see your friends' scores and other people's scores on certain school games, so you can race against them. As you can tell here, I managed to somehow get them into the first bin. So I just I saw like a little tactic, so I decided to do that. And there, that was very unlucky as it hit the bin and just rolled down. So on my channel, I'm going to be doing a lot more FIFA 13 videos as soon as it comes out. As I'm going to be getting it early, I've got the season pass, I'm going to get the ultimate edition, uh, I'm going to buy some Microsoft points, so stay tuned for some pack openings. So the next one is penalties. This was a pretty simple one and pretty easy to do. Is it All you had to do is you had to place the amount of power, so obviously in the red it's the best, yellow it's okay, red pretty much failed and it's gone up, or you've skied it or you've missed. So all you had to do is you had to press B at the appropriate um, appropriate strength and then you just had to move the blue signal into the space you'd like to kick it. So it's basically showing what's it like what it's like in real penalties without actually showing 
the uh, the blue circle, which I'm sure it's got on PC gaming. So as you can tell, there I just did a wide one, which I didn't mean to do for some unknown reason. So moving on to the next skill game, and this was just shooting. Basically, you just have to step into this box here and shoot and hit the target. This was pretty weird as Carlos has managed to get some, but some he missed, which I really don't understand how he did it. It's really weird. So, as you can tell, I did manage to try and finesse it, and it did just go over the top quite a few times, which is really annoying. Exact position. I tried to put it on Carlos Tevez's right foot and then finesse it over the top, so I decided to swap to his left foot and it went over. I just managed to miss that there, and then the attempts run out, and we do not manage to get another shot. So, this is the final skill game on the demo, and it is dribbling. So, all you've got to do is just run in between the cones. This is quite a weird one to me, so I wasn't too sure how to get a high score, but I did manage to find out. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit the like button and remember to subscribe. Au revoir.